there guys it's Gary Dean detailjuice.com I'm out in Riverview uh, Florida today we're working on a 2008 Trailblazer SS super duper nice we just got here um, it did just rain on us those clouds are actually moving away you can see how dark it is over there but all of that was right here we just got poured on so we kind of um, Took a minute to talk to the owner of the car and that kind of thing. I got Tony out here helping me today, as usual. Uh, so what Tony's doing now is uh, she's working on the wash and the clay bar situation uh, to remove all the contaminants and um, basically prep the surface for the polishing. We are going to be using Universal All-in-One for my one system. Um, you can see that something is on the paint, but it does have a layer of oxidation. Can't really see it from here with the uh, lack of sun out, but you can also see lots of scratches and that kind of thing. What the Universal All-in-One is going to do is it's going to cut off that top layer of defects and oxidation and all of that. And it's going to um, expose never before exposed clear coat. So the clear coat underneath the top layer is going to be removed with the polish. That's what the abrasives do. And then as the abrasives break down, they're actually leaving, they're refining the finish so that the underlying clear coat is super nice and clear. Uh, and then the Universal All-in-One is definitely leaving behind some good quality protection with the ceramic acrylics technology that we have built in. It's uh, the ceramic and acrylic hybrid blend, uh, and that's going to last six to nine months with no problem on uh, this tr Trailblazer. So without further ado, I'm going to jump on cleaning up this seat. We're not doing any interior work on this. Uh, well, I am going to do some interior work only because... I saw it and I want, personally, this is what is going to make me happy is to take care of this seat. So I'm going to clean all the dirt and grime out of this seat uh, and then I'm going to protect it uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, try to get more elasticity back in this uh, seat here. Uh, the bolster looks good. It's not all cracked up, but I'm going to clean this area and uh, I'm going to get it protected. So. That's the plan on that, just because I need to. And that, that, that's me doing something that I want to do personally that makes me happy. So we're going to get right on with it. I'm not going to waste any more time. See, I could sit here babbling while uh, Tony does the work, but that's not how I roll. So um, this customer is also, he is, he is absolutely going to get the front bumper and that grill painted. Uh, so... That's a Trailblazer SS from 2008, and uh, we are going to get rocking and rolling on that right now. All right, guys. So I've done the whole roof, and I've polished just this corner of the hood so far. There's all kinds of contamination inside the paint. It's pretty oxidized. I don't know if you can see the tape line is here and here should be able to tell a huge difference between this line right here where my finger is that's unpolished that's polished see the clarity difference you can actually see the clouds in the sky and the leaves in the trees nothing over there so that's just universal all-in-one with the harbor freight da and orange buff and shine pad looks pretty amazing very happy with the results that's all we're trying to do is remove that oxidation and make it glossy again especially so that he can have the front end uh, repainted and it blends in a lot better but there's a dramatic difference between where i polished with universal all-in-one and where i did not so we are absolutely getting the results we're looking for the roof is all done uh, i got tony cleaning the wheels now she was doing the prep uh, and uh, we're gonna keep on cranking with the polishing portion but you cannot beat that universal all-in-one for the correction it does in the time it does it it's water-based and VOC free 
So no volatile organic compounds are gonna hurt you. Uh, but beyond that, uh, water-based just means it'll work faster because it doesn't have the same oil-based lubrication as an oil-based uh, polish, uh, which makes it safer on the environment, safer on you, uh, and basically, frankly, in my opinion, a lot easier to use than most. So that's Universal All-in-One right here from my one system on detailjuice.com. So I'm gonna get back to work, get this thing knocked out and looking pretty. All right, so we washed with Infinite Use Detail Juice One, diluted down, and then we clayed as it was wet for the wash. And then right after that, while we used the wash water as the lube, we were able to dry immediately. So wash clay seal happened, happened pretty fast and pretty fluidly. Um, like I mentioned before, the owner is going to get this bumper and the grill painted, so we didn't touch that. But as you can see, we got tremendous gloss back in this thing. It was all oxidized and not real glossy when we started. So my universal all-in-one, which was the step, so we washed, clayed, and dried. Then we did a universal clean and prep wipe down of the whole thing clean the wheels with universal clean and prep and then this is actually um, universal dressing from the one system uh, just sprayed directly on the tires but it's one part product to seven parts water so i put two ounces in a 16 ounce bottle and then i filled it up with water shook it up and sprayed it on and left it it actually lays down really nice and even it doesn't give you too much gloss and it absolutely will not sling off those tires, especially if you go back and wipe out all the cracks and crevices. A lot of times tire gels will sling because you get your tread portions will end up having a, a ton of pooled up product in them. And if you don't leave that behind, you don't have to worry about that slinging off obviously. And you'll notice this laid down very flat. It's not quite 100% dry yet, but good stuff anyway so after the universal all-in-one on the whole vehicle you really can see some gloss and depth that it didn't have before did the roof obviously if you're a detailer and you're not doing the roof because it's uh, inconvenient you should be uh, someone should fire you always do the roof it's good practice especially like a truck like mine, you got to get up there and get that roof clean and protected. That's very important. It's actually what the sun hits first. So that's it, guys. Nothing complicated. I did clean up. I'm not sure I shot a video of this at the beginning, but I cleaned up this seat. I used Universal Clean and Prep at one part product to seven parts water, as I usually do. I uh, cleaned the seats really well, and then uh, I actually used the same universal dressing dilution that I used on the tires on the interior. It doesn't leave behind a crazy shine. Not very many people that I know or work for like a big crazy glossy shine, so this looks nice and new. Uh, the universal dressing actually has a penetrant in it that will saturate and uh, penetrate down into the pores of the leather and vinyl and will basically stay there, uh, enhancing the longevity by making the elasticity better, allowing it to stretch and move and flex better, um, especially after it's got all these cracks and creases. Uh, that stuff's gonna make this uh, leather last longer. So, nothing on the interior other than that seat, and that's where we're at on the exterior. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to me babble. Um, if you wanna learn more about my products, uh, you can go to detailjuice.com or 813-846-4406 is my cell. Uh, also check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. If you wanna learn more about that one system, it is a bad, bad man. Whether an enthusiast or a pro detailer, the one system is ultra concentrated and it is the best of the best in my product range 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. This